Nadine was born in Trinidad and became a United States citizen in 1998 on an employment visa and now works for the government on health research. Once a citizen, she filed a petition for her mother. The case was quickly processed, but Nadine's mother decided not to immigrate and was later diagnosed with breast cancer and passed away. In 2006, Nadine filed a sibling petition for her youngest brother. She shares her story here of their long wait to be reunited. I remember when he was born because uh, my dad woke me up in the middle of the night and said, go in the room and wait with your mother, I'm going to get the midwife. And um, he left to get the midwife and they didn't come back in time. And so I d delivered my young <laughs> sibling and, and, um, and I, you know, he came out and I shook him and he cried and I wrapped him up in a sheet and, and my mother held on to him until the midwife came and cut the umbilical cord. When I, filed, when I filed the immigrant petition for him, he was 23. Um, he just turned 30 last month. So um, we've been waiting seven years already. The, the time that I've not been able to have my brother with me has been really, really difficult, especially because it's been during a season where we've just had one loss after another in our family. And so every time I, I go back for one of these funerals, um, I have to leave him behind. Right now, the law says as a US citizen, I can bring my mother, but my mother is dead. It says I can bring a spouse or a fiance, but I've never been married. Um, it says I can bring a child, but I don't have any children. So my family is my brother. And that's who I want to bring, and, and I'd like the law to not, not hamstring me from doing that. Uh, my biggest worry is, what if something happens to him? If he has a health crisis, if, you know, if something goes wrong in his life, I, I'm not there. And he's not a little kid, but, but he, he's an individual without a family support system. And it would take me a couple of days to get there, and, you know, I, I, I feel as though I would I'd sort of be failing as a big sister just because I can't be there fast enough. We can't tell somebody else who their family is. Your family is who your family is. And for my brother and I, we are each other's family. All, all the other people we love, we've buried them. And so I'm his family and he's my family. And, um, and I know that there are plenty of other families who have similar stories to tell. And so I'm just sharing my story with the hope that it will help create better understanding.